In this problem, a baseball with initial velocity v o that is eight meter per second is thrown from a height of two meter above the ground to a wall that is six meter away. And we need to determine the height h, which is also the vertical position of the ball when the ball hits the wall. So v o is as a 45 degree angle with the horizon. Therefore, we can resolve it into two component v o x and v o y. So based on simple trigonometry, v o x equals to v o times cosine 45 degree and v o y equals to v o times sine 45 degree and cosine and sine 45 degrees are the same so both of them equal to the same 5.657 meter per second So now let's analyze the motion along the horizontal direction. Along the horizontal direction, there is no other force. Therefore, there is no acceleration. So AX is always zero. Therefore, we will always have the same velocity VOX along the horizontal direction. And the total distance, which is simply X, equals to VOX times T. So x equals to 6 meter, vox, we just determined it. So from here, we can determine t, the total time before the baseball hits the wall is 6 meter divided by 5.657, and that is 1.0606 second. So I'm keeping more significant figures because this is a intermediate step. So I don't mind keeping more significant figures during intermediate step, but for my final result, I normally just report three significant figures. So now we get the time information, which is important for our next step to determine the vertical position, y or h. So along the vertical direction, because we always have the uh, gravitational force, therefore we will always have the gravitational acceleration, which is constant. A y equals to negative nine point a one meter per second squared. By saying that, I am uh, assuming up is positive y direction. Therefore, because acceleration, uh, uh, gravity is always downwards. Therefore, we have negative nine point a one meter per second squared. So. Because this is also a constant, therefore the three kinematic equations for constant acceleration apply. So the three equations are, if you remember, um, Vy equals to Vo plus Ay times T. Um, and then along the y direction, y equals to Yo plus V o t plus one half a y squared times sorry a y times t squared and lastly v y squared equals to v o squared plus two times a y y minus y o so three equations so which one do we use because now we have the time and we need to determine y and we know what a y is, so we're going to use this equation. So in this equation, y is what we need to find out, which is the same as h, and that equals to y o. The initial position is two meter, it's not zero in this case, plus v o, that is v o y, VOY is 5.657 and then times time, which is 1.0606 that we just determined, plus one half times negative 9.81 times T squared, 1.0606 squared. 
So that's all. We do the calculation, and this equals to 2.48 meter. And that is the answer to this problem. So it's important that uh, when you apply these three equations along the vertical direction, this is the initial velocity along the y direction only, because again, the acceleration is only a constant along the y direction.